morning. We are going to be addressing this issue, uh, which is there used to be a door right here that went into the, uh, what, what was the living room there? Problem being that we have shiplap and we like the look of the shiplap, but we um, obviously, if we just put a bunch of chunks right here, it looks exactly like there was a door there, right? We have some chunks of um, shiplap that we saved when we were doing the demo of some of the other rooms. So we're gonna try and stagger these back and forth on this wall here. So the tool that I'm gonna use for that is this little oscillating tool. We're gonna mark where our studs are and we're just gonna come in and uh, clip those loose and then pull them off. That's the plan, we'll see how it goes. What the problem is? <laughs> what the problem is? The problem is that we have uh, two different kinds of ship left. Oh snap, son. And <laughs> So we saved a bunch of this to reuse, and now we can't use it because it's stupid. <laughs> you want me to start over? No, it's okay. <laughs> um, so we saved a bunch of shiplap to use with this other shiplap. And the problem being, it is two different kinds of shiplap, apparently. So I can't use all the shiplap that I, that I saved. So we're going to have to make some of our own, it looks like. So we bought a couple sheets of plywood. We're gonna kind of make our own faux ship lap and see if we can kind of get stuff to look decent. wanted to keep the shiplap. We like the look of it on this one wall, um, kind of as an accent wall. And we're keeping the, the funky ceilings as well. We could have just drywalled over them, but uh, we kind of like the look and feel of the, the old cabin roof here uh, for where the second story is. So, uh, we're going to keep it and keep some of those fun elements that we uh, fell in love with with the cabin. So excited to get that um, in place. We can caulk that, paint that one step closer to moving back to the floors here. Working on caulking today? Yes. How's that going? It's going good. Um, I'm about a third of the way done. So yeah, it's going, it's going good. Yeah. Make sure it makes it look nicer with the caulking in there. It does. It'll just look really finished, but still kind of rough because, you know, it is old. All right, the ship lap is up. Uh, Dee Dee's working on painting, caulking, and it's coming together well. And she's wearing a bandit mask at the moment. <laughs> I'm trying to put my hair thing on so I don't have paint in my hair later. Oh. How's the ship lap going? Um, it's going well. We have, I have about two thirds of it painted, maybe a little bit more. Thanks. You got a little more to do over there still. Yeah. But uh, I think the doorway is pretty well hidden. I don't think you see that anymore. Kind of hey. just blends in. Have our friends weigh in on the colors. Oh. So here's a little sneak peek of some future stuff going on. Uh, obviously, we're working on finishing this room up here. Um, but I got a little wild and crazy. We've been trying to figure out what we're going to do for countertops. So I went and bought some stuff to make up some, some butcher block style counters. And we're also looking at some paint colors that we might want to use. Here's a little sample butcher block that we made up. So this is just made out of a two by three. I cut it into foot long chunks and um, planed it, sanded it just real roughly real quick, just to kind of get an idea if it's something we wanted to do and put some oil on it and I think it looks pretty good. We've been kind of going back and forth on what we want to do for countertops. 
And so I think we've settled on this is going to be what we're going to do. It'll be pretty simple to do. Uh, it's just a matter of cutting and, and gluing together a bunch of a bunch of two by threes, and I think it'll give us the thickness we want, and uh, the, it'll tie in well with all the fur beams and everything we have going on as well. All right, what do you think? We need your opinion. Dee Dee's thinking about painting the cabinets blue. Do you think those go together? <laughs> and then we're thinking this lower color has the opposing color in the bedroom. So basically the drywall spots would be on that. Be this color. That the drywall color. would be this color. This ship left wall will, will remain white. Yeah. Ceiling will be white once we get it finished painted. Um, we were experimenting with this color, but um, I think we like it as a contrast to the fur. Exactly. So what we'd have is a white shiplap wall. The ceiling would be the same white. The area where Robert is standing, that's a drywall around that door frame. And so that would be the so taupe this, color. This would be taupe. Yep. This would be taupe. And this is actually kitchen. <laughs> Has nothing to do with bedroom. Yeah, that'll be, uh, <laughs> that'll be gone. It'll be taupe. The closet built-ins will all be white. The wall where the windows are at, that's going to be the taupe color. And then you come back around to the entrance of the room. So again, built-in closets and dresser. Those will be white. And then you've got the entrance to the bedroom. So tell us what you think. All right, guys. Thanks for coming along. We'll catch you on the next video. Bye. Thanks for coming along, guys. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace out. <laughs> okay, I don't want to say that. <laughs> Thanks for coming along, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye.